If we catch a small fish and one of us doesn't yell, it's like taking candy from a baby. We, we just don't even belong. If I catch more fish, do I get these trolleys? That's all I want to know. I got one. Got him. I thought you had worms. You got some little giblets. That's what, they, that's what a bright crawler is. Right? They have them in worm size, too. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Uh, sitting on my butt, I caught a fish. You dag, I'm right. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. If you are new, go ahead, smash that subscribe button for me. Hit the like button, this is gonna be a good one. This is a video I actually teased a little while back. Um, it's probably two or three videos ago when we were in the boat doing the glow in the dark worms. If you have not seen that video, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. After this video, you need to go check out the glow in the dark worms. That was a very, very fun video. But Chris was like, these worms are really neatly colored. I kinda wish they tasted like uh, you know, the glow worms that I eat. And I was like, glow worms that you eat? What he was talking about was these trolley bright crawlers. So we're gonna make replicas of these colors and these style of worms. I'm gonna coat them with salt as opposed to sugar. Um, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. We're not gonna, this is not necessarily gonna be a bait making video. So if you are not interested in the bait making videos, this is the video for you because I'm gonna quickly brush over how to make the baits. And me and Chris are gonna do a challenge with these baits. So. Hopefully I'm gonna keep this under like four or five minutes on the bait making video part portion of it. But let's go ahead and mix these up. Let's take a look at the stuff that we've got to work with though. All right, so let's crack open some of these real quick. I need to look at the colors because we're obviously not going to make every single color. Are there only like three different versions of these? Yeah, there's only three different versions. There's cherry and lemon, strawberry, grape, and then uh, orange and lime. I did no idea this was grape. This always looked blue to me. I never knew that was grape. Is that actually purple? That looks blue to me. It looks like red and blue. I really want to do all three colors because those reds are exactly the same, whether they're cherry or strawberry. That'd be five colors. I'd need orange, blue, green, red, and yellow. I think I might be able to do that. Let's try to do that. We're going to try to make all three colors. Screw it. I'm, I'm eating this one. Let's get cracking. First up, Plastisol. If you are interested in Plastisol, link is in the description. Everything I use today will be linked somewhere in the description. Some will be Amazon affiliate links, others will be directly to the website that I purchased them from. So all four of these are ready to go. They're gonna go in the microwave. I'll bring you back when they're clear. Now we're gonna start with blue. So we're gonna try to make this blue. I think it's gonna take just a couple dabs of that. That's a very strong blue. Then we need to lighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna throw just a bit of white in there and I think we've got our blue done that easy just for fun and because it's just a little bit in honor of the video that we did blue glow powder we're gonna throw some blue glow powder in this thing not a whole ton but it will lighten it up just a little bit all right up next what do we want to do we got green orange or yellow let's uh, let's go yellow A little bit of white. Boom. And the yellow's ready. Let's go ahead and shoot it. But this is our double, our double set because we've got two reds. So we're gonna add this red. We're probably gonna need white in here also just to uh, lighten it up because this is a very deep red. That's pretty close. Boom, red, done. So red and yellow are done. I need a knife. This razor blade and I'm actually gonna cut right below the egg sac, just about right here. On those, do the same thing on my yellows. I need to reload these guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. We're gonna twirl all those in salt and get a little bit of like that sugar look on top. And uh, that should look just like a trolley bright crawler. 
Boom. Yellow and red. Time to make our orange. Now, I could just do something like this. I could mix a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow and some white. I'm gonna put some fluoro orange in here just to see what it does. I've never used this color. Not a whole lot of anything. Okay, so we're gonna do what we were gonna do earlier, which is a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. Boom. All right, so I've got my yellow. Call me crazy, but we should be able to reuse this add a little bit of blue and turn it green. I mean, if I did okay in first grade or kindergarten, wherever we learned that, that should really be all I have to do, green. And it's like already the, like, it's the perfect green already. We're gonna cut them about right here. Marry the two together. I mean, come on now, looks just like them. So we have some fine salt in there. It's normally what I put in like Cinco's, uh, any of the baits that I really, really need to sink and get to the bottom. And what I'm about to do, I wanna preface this, do not try this at home. We're actually gonna warm up these baits with a butane torch, and then I'm gonna throw them in here because I need the outside to be sticky to have the salt stick to it. All right, folks, here are your final products. Okay, there's your three colors, right? All covered in sugar. And then here's what we were trying to mimic. Now, you tell me, did we do it? Because I think we freaking did. My hope is this part did not take that long. I'm trying to keep this under five minutes, but if it went longer, forgive me. I try to get as much in there as possible just in case you want to get, you guys want to learn more about the bait making, but at the same time, I don't want to bore the people that don't really care. They want to get to the fishing. So with that being said, let's get on to the challenge. Um, I've got a really good one for Chris. So let's get to the water and uh, let's do this. All right, Chris. So last one of the last videos not the last video you said you had eaten a glow worm before correct so i'm going to ask you is this the glow worm you've eaten those are it and i said what was i going to do with those you're just going to try to mimic them what do y'all think of that look at those worms what do you think of those chris if i didn't know you just made them i would thought you just took them right out of this pack and put them in another pack i mean that's they, how close they are i mean the that's incredible salt, so that is actual salt on those instead of sugar but i made the same colors y'all saw me do that look at those things bud what do you think that's you think pretty, we can catch some fish on those pretty amazing if we can't then the fish aren't smart i mean who doesn't love trolley bright crawlers that's right sour bite baby so the name of the game chris because it's a, this is a challenge video okay this is a challenge video if I catch more fish, do I get these trolleys? That's all I want to know. You can have whatever's left. You can have whatever's left. Challenge is, we're going to fish, let's say, an hour and a half. Okay. Let's go an hour and a half. Most fish wins. Okay. You can fish those worms any way you want. Most fish wins. Okay. However, if you catch one on one of those worms, yeah. automatic win. Automatic victory, huh? Automatic victory, no questions asked. Game's over. I don't think I could switch without you knowing, so how would you know? <laughs> Fair point. Also, uh, just to uh, spice it up, yeah, the winner can take whatever's left in the bag. We're probably going to eat some while we're fishing. I, I just have a, I've, I've, I want some, I'm going to tell you, but you can have whatever's left in the bag. But we're also going to throw in $20. Oh. $20 to the winner, so you can go buy a couple packs. That's right. They'll make you say, crawl into my belly. Just so uh, y'all know, I, I'm going to give away some stuff in this video too. It may not be any of those things or 20 bucks, but I'm going to do a giveaway. So hang tight till the end and I'll tell you what that is. Chris, are you ready to go? Let's do this. Thing. Let's rig it up. Let's go. This will be fun. You starting off with the old... Uh, I'm going blue and red to start with. 
Right. Did you know that's actually not blue? Like it is blue, but do you know what flavor that is? Raspberry. Grape. Flavor. It's grape and strawberry is that one. There's cherry and lemon, orange and lime, and strawberry and grape. <laughs> when I was making it, I was like, that's not grape. I think I'm gonna go strawberry and lemon. There, not too bad. If I can get two or three vid or two or three fish up on Chris, I'm gonna immediately switch to the actual right crawlers. Okay. Huh? I think if I just get one, I'll switch. What? Just one? Yeah. That's not a very comfortable lead. Oh, there's a bass chasing it, but he was a baby baby. I don't, I mean, he was about as long as the worm. Well, I got one. It's shaking a lot. Woo, got one on the little sour trolley worm. I still don't think this is a great idea. You caught a fish. Yeah, I did catch a fish, but... Now, he has been eating. He's fatter. I mean, I think I, I need to continue on for at least one more. Right? Maybe? Got him. Got him, baby. Tied it up. So I'm so bored I'm sitting down, but yet, okay. I've got a fish now. Tied him up, baby. People are gonna get on you for throwing him back like that. Oh, he wanted it. He said, give me some height, give me some love. Give me the victory. Don't give me the victory. Got him. Got him. Huh? What'd you say? Uh, sitting on my butt, I caught a fish. You daggum right. All right. Boom. And it's even bigger than yours. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right, I think I gotta go for it. I gotta go for the kill. I think I've wasted enough time. The thing is, here's the big thing. How often am I gonna have to change it? Like, how often is it gonna... I, got, I, gotta, I gotta do it. I got, I got no other options. I'm ahead by one. You're clearly way more energetic about this than I am. What? You didn't eat real worms. What are you talking about? These are the real bright crawlers. I thought you had worms. You got some little niblets. That's what those. That's what a bright crawler is. That's... They have them in worm size too. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They do not. Bet. Bet you a dollar. Look it up and prove it. Bet you a dollar. Okay, I'll bet a dollar. All right. You gotta look it up and prove it. <laughs> we got no cell signal right now, so we're gonna have to hold this off, this conversation, till later. But they do not. Okay. They have some that are even smaller than that, like minis. Okay. That is the regular size. Oh dang. Alright, I'm done. I keep losing the tro the trolley. Well, if you can do it, you'll win. Otherwise, I win. Woo! So Chris is going to get the uh the truck so he doesn't even want to be part of this outro because we beat him or I beat him which is not as great of an accomplishment as you think because we actually filmed two videos and he walloped me in the first video that will not even be on this channel it's gonna be on the mystery tackle box channel be sure to go check that out why does he always show out on the mystery tackle box channel but when on like my channel it's I can get the better of him a good bit of the time I don't I don't understand it I don't understand it at all but either way, we were able to get it done um, on the trolley worms. We never got bit on the actual trolley like candies themselves. 
So I'm 20 bucks richer. I got a bag of candy to eat. And, and if you are subscribed, leave a comment below. What, what, what is your favorite trolley candy? Like as far as the color, like mine's always been the grape and strawberry, the, the red and the blue, even though it's, it's actually grape. I didn't realize that, but let me know. Let me know in the comments, which one is your favorite. Um, that's the, that's the important part. The other part is, is if you're subscribed and you like this video, you are qualified to win a free pack of baits. Doesn't matter the kind of baits, the color, I'm gonna let you pick all of that, but I will send you a free pack of baits. So again, super simple to win. Just do those couple things. If you enjoyed this video, whew, about fell out of the boat there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure, as always, even if you don't wanna win the, the giveaway, at least hit the like button and uh, helps the videos grow, helps my channel grow, helps the videos go, I guess is what I should say. Hit the ding dong notifications if you're already subscribed and just don't have it so uh, you can watch any of the upcoming videos. I've got some really good ones coming up. I don't know when we're gonna be able to film them. We were supposed to film them today, but the bite is tough, guys. It's, we're, we are really stuck in that fall transition. We gotta get out of it and get into the fall bite. Like I need the fall bite to go ahead and get here because uh, that's a fun bite. But anyway, we're gonna get out of here. I got a lot of bait making videos coming with some crazy and wild things. So y'all stay tuned and we will catch you on the next one later.